So I'm slowly but surely getting the hang of this new camera and uh, I captured Jupiter the other night. It was so bright um, and the moons were like, you know, just standing out nice and clear. So I'm gonna share that footage with you guys. And at the seven minute, 45 second mark, I'm going to address an issue regarding the last video because uh, it seems I may have ruffled some feathers with that, you know, it wasn't my intention. Jupiter. So that's at the 7 minute 45 second mark. So um, if that's something you want to, you know, you get bored and you, you know, you can fast forward it up to that because I would like for you guys to hear um, what I have to say. Yeah, I got some star footage at the end here. When I'm scrolling up, stars didn't do anything but twinkle you know and not all of them twinkle but you know what i mean so um the stars um it, it was so mind-blowing uh not only me i mean I, I thought it was a ufo the first time i realized this was happening i was outside you know and i was you know looking at starting the thing starts moving and i thought oh my gosh uh, there's a uh a ufo you know and, and I got my mom and said, come out here and look at this, you know. And she was looking at another star, and it started moving. Well, I call them dancing stars now, but they didn't do that when I, I was growing. This only started a couple of years ago, and I'm wondering, is this a perception thing? You know, it's so strange. Um, so I challenge you, you know, like the reason I'm repeating this, uh, it's been a while since I even mentioned it, but I've got a lot of new subscribers. Uh, you, you go outside some night when the stars are really out there, pick out one and just stare at it. You know, you, sometimes you got to stare at it for a good 20, 30 seconds, maybe, with its one star. Now, they don't all do it, but you'll find them, I promise you. Well, I can't promise you, but they do it for not only us. My sister sees them, too, now, and, and we're just all like, why? What? How come? You know, because they didn't move uh, growing. Anyway, they dance. If you, And if one don't, move to another star and uh, give it a try, and you will see that uh, this star is moved now. It's, it was just weird. It's, it blew my mind whenever I first seen it because I thought I was looking at a UFO and it was nothing but a star dancing around up there. But anyhow, it's the moon. It's, you know, it's a freaky deaky moon. There's that moon arch. Now, um, this moon arch, that's another thing I wanted to address. Um, this moon arch, I realized that this is a crater and this is a shadow trick, you know, because I had one comment, comments are found so funny sometimes, that one comment guy said, uh, you know that's not really an arch up there, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, uh, okay, <laughs> I, I didn't say, it, you know, it's in the title, right, Moon Arch, in that one video that went viral, I think it's got over 200,000 views on it now, I think oh, what yeah, happens sometimes is, uh, some folks will just read the title and then just make a beeline to the, <laughs> to the uh, comments, you know, or they don't watch the video, you know, far enough into it to where um, uh, people are discussing whatever the issue might be. It's so funny because I just threw that thing together real fast when I first got my P1000 camera. And it's funny how the ones you don't you know, it's like you throw something together and haphazardly, uh, and it turns viral, and then you spend a couple of days on a video and, you know, thud. But anyway, look at that arch. It looks like an inchworm, don't it? I want to see this crazy stuff in the upper left here coming into view. There it is. Isn't that weird? I call it a moon arch because it's on the moon and it looks like an arch. I mean, uh, it's an illusion, you know, the shadow and that crater and stuff. But the, the thing is, it didn't used to be that way. Not when I was a kid growing up. Yeah, there's the wind blowing again. Why does it have to be tonight? And if you look real close, right where the arch connects to the moon there, just to the right side of that uh, duck face, there's a little E.T. fella right there. It looks like uh, E.T. E is feeding the inchworm. Oh, and I had a comment. It was so neat. Uh, the lady said, um, it was Emma, I believe her name. So, um, <laughs> if, you, if you're watching this, Emma, that was a good uh, comment. Because um, she's talking about these, seeing these faces everywhere. She said, this didn't start for her until, I guess, she, I think she said a year ago, maybe, or 
But anyway, it's been doing it for us like right after, like six months after the Mandela effect uh, blew us away, you know. Realized that, you know, there's always been six people in that car and it's always had a middle glass and all this kind of stuff. So that's whenever, about six months later, that all these faces like everywhere, they're in the floor, they're in the walls, they're in the rocks, they're in the antique cabinets. Yeah, but here's a funny story. My, um, I was in the doctor's office, my mom's doctor's office. It was been, you know, a month or so ago, <laughs> and she was like, um, um, Tracy, get, get your camera out, <laughs> get your phone out, and take pictures of that wall. And, uh, you know, it's that kind of wood paneling with the gloss over it, you know, smeary looking stuff. And there was just all kinds of creatures and faces and horses and everything like that, you know. And I was like, oh my goodness, you're right, you know. But I didn't take a picture because I didn't, there was other people in the waiting room and I didn't want to, you know what I mean? <laughs> the funny thing though is because uh, I said, uh, I said, oh my goodness, you know, I, I said, I'm not going to do that. If, if the room clears out, I'll take some pictures of it. But and not until then. I said, but hey, mom. Do not look at the carpet <laughs> because she says, oh, no. She looked at the carpet and I said, look at them stains. Every single one of them stains on that carpet was making a face or a creature or something. It's just so bizarre. Hey, you guys, I got one last thing here in closing um, I want to clear up. So I may have ruffled a few feathers on that last video, but to be clear, I was only talking about one channel and one channel only. You guys that have been with me for a while, I believe you know who it was I was referring to. And you guys know I'm not a fan of this person, and I did reveal who it was in a cryptic sort of way in that last video. In fact, I believe I referred to him as Mr. O. I shall not utter his name. I believe is what I said. I don't know. You know, it's a little cryptic, but... Uh, it is what it is. I only watched one video that uh, put this new theory out, and uh, that's the video I was referring to. So, yeah, it's uh, it's not a big deal. And uh, what happened to the days of uh, when we used to figure things out with dialogue? People are so testy these days. It's a uh, it's sad state of affairs. So, if you're someone that came across that last video and thought I was talking about you, rest assured, I wasn't talking about you. I was referring to one channel and one channel only, and you guys that have been subscribed to my channel for a while know exactly who I was talking about. Last I checked, we still have free will, and uh, we have a right to our own opinions. If uh, I have uh, filmed something or I have evidence that contradicts what um, someone's putting out there. I feel like an, I have an obligation to, to share that information so people will have more uh, information to, um, you know, try to get to the truth of things. So, because the truth is, we don't know. Uh, none of us knows what is going on. All we know is the skies are insane. Now, Project Blue Beam, yeah, I believe that's a real thing and I believe it. Maybe they're rolling it out now. What you're seeing here is not a NASA star. This is a wandering star. Uh, outer space is nothing but a made up fairy tale. So judge not lest ye be judged. You know, it's okay to disagree. I, I, I mean, I disagree with a lot of people and, and I, I don't have any problems with them. But when you start throwing around words loosely like deceiver and deceiving, you know, to disparage and denigrate people, you should take a look in the mirror because judge not lest ye be judged. Beware of God's wrath. Only God knows what's in the hearts and minds of human beings. Just so people understand where I'm coming from, okay? I believe the Bible. The Bible says we have a firmament, right? I believe in dimensions, multiple dimensions. I believe the highest frequency would be the heavenly realm. And then the lowest, of course, would be uh, hell. And then in between, you got uh, demons and you know, these so-called aliens and things, and CERN is, you know, doing their rituals and their black magic over there, uh, you know, ripping in the veil and letting things get through, and then all these other rituals where they're loosing these demons, and that's why the world is in such a, a chaotic, uh, you know, Hollywood, and I mean, it's just so in your face with all these uh, symbolism and sigils and demonic stuff. It's just, I mean, it's really unbelievable. It's, it's like I'm living in a different world if I think about what life was like in the 70s and 80s and then now it's like it's night and day i'm just trying to make sense of it all it's all just so bizarre and strange it's really hard to wrap your mind around it 
Um, but you know, I try, you know, I'm, I'm looking in every corner, turning every rock over, trying to figure these things out. But it is such a complicated situation. So I guess my point is, it's okay to disagree. It's not okay to judge people. And uh, I'll leave it at that. Hey, y'all, thanks so much for hearing me out. Um, I do have some interesting uh, sky footage I just captured. I mean, it's like, I, I haven't put it on the big screen yet, but um, I think it's going to be really, really interesting. I'm going to get that out for you guys next. And uh, till next time, y'all take care. God bless.